everybody. Welcome to the Falata Lovely YouTube channel. Thanks very much for stopping by. I recently purchased a box of international covers at a local auction. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the stamps on this particular cover. And then I'm going to read the letter out that's inside it. We can see here that it was posted in Wellington on the 28th of September 1974. The first three stamps are all from the 1974 Airmail Transport series with this three cent stamp showing the Boeing seaplane from 1919. Moving on to the four cent stamp, it shows a Lockheed 10A Electra, a wonderful looking aircraft famously flown by Amelia Earhart. And now we move on to the five cent stamp, which shows a Bristol freighter aeroplane. It was used to carry everything from people to cars. Moving on, We've got this six cent stamp, issued in 1973 as part of the Mountain Scenery series. With this particular stamp showing Mitre Peak, a mountain that's over 1600 metres tall, located on the South Island of New Zealand. And lastly, we've got this four cent stamp, issued in 1974, commemorating the centenary of Napier. I hope you enjoyed looking at the stamps. Now let's have a look at the letter and I'll read it out to you. Wellington, 26th of September 1974, Thursday. Hello sweet, keeping well this time? Just missing me I hope. Well, so much has gone on since my note from Singapore airport. When was that? Nearly a week ago. The Qantas 747 was very full so it wasn't the best trip I've had. I didn't buy the earphones because the film was a Woody Allen. Sleep. Or was it Sleeper? I did just that after half an hour of the film. We landed at Sydney at breakfast time and moved quickly on to an Air New Zealand DC-8 and then had a leisurely breakfast crossing the Tasman Sea to Wellington. Arrived here on a cold, windy, wet day I moved into the motel overlooking the harbour. Wellington has a very large harbour and with hills around is reminiscent of Hong Kong. They keep all the shops open late, about 9pm on a Friday evening, our first evening here, but on Saturday and Sunday the place is dead. We went on a bus tour around the town and its suburbs as well as walking a lot and used their cable car and ate large steaks. Chicken is much dearer than meat. The weather was quite reasonable over the weekend, but on the Saturday in particular, the film was too fast for the hard bright light, even at a 500th. We work at an army camp on the coast, about six miles out of town. So with an organised bus, it's a question of coming and going to a timetable. I've contacted Ken Miles on the phone, and I'm travelling under my own arrangements from Rotorua on Saturday late afternoon to Auckland staying with Ken and Moira and travelling back care of the Royal New Zealand Air Force from Wenuapai to Wellington on Monday morning. I have plans to travel to the South Island for a little exploration before returning to Singapore at the end of this working party. I hear that we're on the VC-10 leaving Singapore Wednesday, arriving at Bryce Norton midday Thursday the 10th of October, so with a bit of luck should see you for tea or something. The radio station is called Radio Windy, with good reason. But when the weather is good, then it's a pleasant green land. Enjoy my scallops, fish, cream, milk and steaks. Keep well. Lots of love. Your Harry. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up if you want to. Also, please feel free to check out Philata Lovely on all social medias, including TikTok and Patreon. Thanks very much, everybody.